Bowser is an intimidating force who can rack up a lot of damage while only having to connect a few hits himself. He's the heaviest fighter in the roster, which makes him pretty hard to kill at times, but his big body also makes him susceptible to combos and follow-ups, and due to his exploitable recovery, he has a hard time coming back to stage if predicted or if all of his options are exhausted. He is significantly faster and more mobile than all of his previous iterations, and his amazing initial dash not only makes him move a bit faster than running, but it's also really good for moving under your opponent and catching landings. His tough guy mechanic allows him to power through certain moves that don't deal enough damage, such as rapid jabs, projectiles, and some weak multi-hit moves. And every aerial, excluding down air, can be auto-cancelled if buffered or done within the first 2 or 3 frames. This guide will be covering Bowser's combo game as well as his neutral game and how it should be executed at a competitive level. And I always encourage you guys to let me know of other setups or strings that I may not have mentioned in the comments below. Alright, so let's start with throws. Up throw is Bowser's premier throw and you will find yourself using this move a lot at low to mid percentages because it leads into true follow-ups with up air, forward air, and neutral air. And it can lead into frame traps if the opponent air dodges. At zero, or really low percent, you want to hold down the jump button during the throw animation, which will buffer a full hop as soon as the up throw ends, and then do the move you want to do. Once percentage starts to build up, you want to do the same thing but then quickly do another double jump right after your buffered full hop, which might make it possible to follow up until later percentages. I personally prefer to use up air since it's easier to catch the eye with it as opposed to forward air or neutral air. And as previously mentioned, this can still lead to a follow up if the opponent air dodges. This is called a frame trap. Now when it comes to other throws, they don't really work the way up throw does. None of them have true follow ups but these can all be good situational throws, such as grabbing someone near the ledge and killing with back throw or forward throw, or using them to then catch the opponent's option out of hit stun, have it be a jump, air dodge, an aggressive option, etc. Now at times getting a raw grab or dash grab in neutral can be quite hard and risky without first getting a hit to confirm into a grab. Which is why at low percentages you can start a combo string with a full hop or short hop fast fall forward air, which can lead into a grab, jab, side B which gives him one of the earliest kill confirms in the game, down tilt or forward tilt. Keep in mind forward tilt is only true if the opponent is close enough after the fair hit, since they can shield if they're far enough, which is why you want to drift toward the opponent if you're going to follow up with forward tilt. And you should always fast fall and place your forward airs as low to the ground as possible, which will allow for some extensions to be true, whereas they could have been shielded had it been done earlier. You can also combo in a Bowser Bomber at times for a ridiculous amount of damage. Another very important thing about forward air is that the hitbox starts above Bowser and goes all the way across his body and eventually hits behind him. This is big because it allows for extensions and follow ups to be true until higher percentages. Spacing Bowser's forward air correctly can be the whole difference, so make sure to practice follow ups and scenarios using all of its hitboxes. mid percent it doesn't have any true follow ups unless done with the behind hitbox. Either way this move can lead into a tech chase situation, which Bowser can cover every option if red or reactive. And at high percent it can be used to send the opponent off stage and at times it can KO depending on a lot of variables like staleness, DI, stage positioning, and the opponent's fighter. 
but as a general rule of thumb, it'll start killing around triple digits as an estimated average. Neutral Air is also very useful. It can be used at all percentages while always having either guaranteed follow-ups or ways to extend his pressure strings. It has 4 hitboxes. Some of them not really sending anywhere, presumably so they can combo into each other. And the last one sends the opponent up in an angle. At low percent, Sour Spot Neutral Air won't true combo into a grab. But a lot of people either don't react on time, or try to put up a shield to relieve pressure, in this case causing an air dodge, which you can simply grab or punish with other options. Since they can also jump out of this, you can go for an up tilt to catch their jump, which will probably make them air dodge as a last resort. So look out for this and punish accordingly. I find that the best way to get Sour Spot only is by not delaying the fast fall and doing it pretty much right after the neutral air, so that the last hit doesn't have a chance to come out. To get the last hit, or sweet spot, I slightly delay the fast fall so that all the hits have a chance to come out. And this is easier to get on some fighters than others. The sweet spot has true follow ups at all percentages. At low percent, my preferred follow up is up tilt because it can lead into a lot more since it puts the opponent right above you. So you can catch your air dodge with a grab to lead into more pressure, or simply wait for them to come down. I recommend putting up a quick shield after the up tilt in case they decide to come down aggressively. An up tilt can catch jumps at times, which makes it that much easier to follow up since they only have an air dodge or character specific resources left. Neutral Air will also true combo in other aerials such as Up Air, Forward Air, Neutral Air, Attack Cancel Back Air, and can even be followed up by a Side B for a surprise KO. Just make sure you buffer a full hop and then Side B. Approaching the mid percentages, Sour Spot can true combo into a Side B without having to jump. It can also work with a grab, but Side B is slightly faster, so that's the one I recommend. You can also go for an up B if you want to leave the opponent closer to you. Sweet spots can still follow up into everything previously mentioned before. And with heavies and fast fallers, you might not even have to full hop through the hitbox placement on forward air and up air. You can also follow up with another neutral air, an attack cancel, or reverse aerial rush back air. But if you're gonna use back air as a follow up, it's recommended to land with your back to the opponent so that backer is much easier to connect. And at high percentages, Sour Spot will still combo into everything mentioned before, which is a really good kill confirm. And the full sweet spot hit can still be followed up with an up air until certain percentages, in which it will then turn into a really good frame trap scenario if the opponent air dodges. All in all, neutral air is a very useful move that can ultimately be used at all percentages. Just make sure to react appropriately to which hit you get. You can also go for falling up airs on tall or big enough fighters. And it also helps that Bowser has intangibility in his head all throughout the hitbox. Though this may not be as useful as forward air and neutral air, it's still a good mix up option nonetheless. Just don't really go for it on small characters. And also, a buffered up air can flat out hit tall opponents at times. Bowser's neutral game has to be heavily respected regardless of his big body, and is defined by falling aerials such as neutral air and forward air, while also mixing these up with tomahawks double jumps, or command grabs to prevent shield grabs. Whenever the opponent is in disadvantage above Bowser, you typically want to track their landing with Fox Trots, anti-air with up tilt, 
and counter aggressive landings with up B since it comes out quick and can cover cross ups. You can also hard punish with side B but if you face the wrong way you can easily be punished yourself, which is why up B is more consistent. Up B is arguably Bowser's best out of shield option, so get used to using it fairly often. Though like everything you don't want to overdo it. Bowser is a lot better at KOing opponents trying to recover from below the stage. So whenever you have them off stage, you want to try to force them to recover low. This can be done by either taking their jump beforehand, or baiting them to go low by faking an aggressive edge guard option, and then landing back on stage and try to two frame or punish their recoveries. Bowser can two frame relatively easy with a variety of moves such as down smash, down tilt, and down angle forward tilt. And with Bowser's tough guy mechanic, he can just tank the hit and still hit the opponent. This is very useful against some recoveries. But these moves can obviously still connect without tough guy. Fire Breath is really useful when it comes to edge guarding. It does hella damage, disrupts the opponent's recovery, and can even push them back slightly. Just make sure to angle it appropriately to where your opponent is. You will typically angle it down, but at times you will have to go a bit further up. So make sure you get comfortable with this since it's a key part in Bowser's game plan. After getting burned, most people will try to go above Bowser, which can easily be punished. Or force their way to ledge, which you can two frame as previously mentioned. It can also be used in neutral to stuff approaches, but be wary of leaving yourself open to a punish since you have many frames of end life. Now when Bowser himself is in disadvantage, he can have a hard time coming down due to his big body. But if his options are mixed up, it's definitely possible to land safely. You can Bowser bomb to ledge, which the opponent just has to respect. Or at times you can land on stage, but only if you have a read as to where they're going to be, or if you know they will stay in shield. But don't rely on this too much. You can also come down with fast fall and airs from pretty high up, which can be followed up by a mix up option such as up smash. This works because most people will try to challenge the neutral air after getting hit, and since Bowser has heavy armor all over his moveset, the up smash will just eat the opponent's option if it's weak enough. But remember that this is a mix up option, it's in no way a true follow up. Up Smash also has a hitbox on the landing, which is very weak but at times this can hit your opponent, so make sure to follow up appropriately. And if the opponent is being too confident while ledge trapping, remember that side B is unreactable from ledge, so go for this if you know it will connect. Yo what's good homies, thank you so much for watching my video. I wanted to try something else by making a guide of a different character, so let me know what you think. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as you're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social medias to stay up to date on my current projects. Make sure to join my discord server and don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.